Well, I'm here in one of my clover plots uh, today, and this is one that I planted about a year ago. So it's coming in nicely. I'm happy with how it looks. I actually just mowed it for the first time yesterday. And uh, then we got rain today, which is about perfect. So one of the keys to mowing clover is you do not want to stress it out. And that's, you can do that a couple things. One, if you mow it when it's really hot and dry, no rain in the forecast, uh, that can really stress out the clover and uh, make it struggle through those hot, dry summer months. And the second one is not to mow too short. I mowed this a little over six inches tall. That's about as low as you want to go. The reason I like to mow my clover at least a couple times a year is I, I do see an uptick in utilization by the deer. They like that fresh growth, it seems. Um, it can also help curb back some of the weeds. It's not going to get rid of all the weeds. Mowing is not really going to affect any of the grasses at all or most of the broadleaf perennials. So those two things you're likely going to have to treat chemically, uh, but it can help curb back some of the annual broadleafs. It just helps slow them down if you can hit, hit them before they start to go to seed. Uh, I, like I said, I mowed this nice and high. A lot of the clover I actually didn't even mow. I mowed over the top of a lot of it. So I want a lot of this clover to keep growing and go to seed and fill in some of the bare spots since it's still a pretty young clover plot. Uh, but keep that in mind as you're mowing your clover this summer. Uh, just make sure you're not stressing it out. Make sure there's rainfall in the forecast and uh, don't mow your clover too short.